Hi everyone, my name is Rob Apari, and in this video I will show you everything you need to do to create an API AI app with no coding required. You start by linking your Google account to API AI and getting to this new agent page. For the example videos, I will be creating an agent called Sandwich Maker that takes a meat and condiment to make a sandwich. Give it a description. and give it a time zone. Now if you look to the left, you will see two of the most used tabs when creating an agent, intents and entities. Intents are actions triggered by certain keywords which are defined by the author, and entities are groups of objects that fall under a certain category. Usually, entities are groups of objects that the app will likely need to identify often. For a sandwich making app, you might have an entity called meat. And under the meat entity, you might have turkey, ham, roast beef. I'll save that. And another entity you might have is condiments. And you might have ketchup, mustard, and mayo. Next, we will go to our intents. And note that there are already two intents here, a default fallback intent, which is triggered every time the user says something that the application doesn't understand, and a default welcome intent, which is triggered if the user says something like hello, and it will respond with something similar. So if I say, sandwich please, I'll get the default fallback intent, since I haven't added anything yet to handle something like sandwich please. So for our sandwich maker, we'll make a new intent and call it make sandwich. So the user might say something like, let's make a sandwich, or maybe Help me make a sandwich. And API AI uses machine learning to identify phrases that might trigger this intent. So the more examples you give it, the broader the phrases that API AI will recognize as you wanting to invoke this intent. So we'll give it two more. Sandwich me. And I could use a sandwich. Okay, moving right down the list. Events we won't use for now, we'll leave that alone. And you'll find this field with required parameter name, entity, value, and is list. Now under this field, the parameter name we want this app to use will be the meet parameter. The entity that corresponds to is meet. And the value, this is just something we'll give it if we want to refer to it in a text response. So we'll call it cache sign meet. And we will make it required. Now we could make it is list because if you're making a sandwich, you could use more than one meat. But for the example, I'm just going to leave that unchecked and we will get back to is list later. And under prompts, you will be able to customize what you say or rather what API AI says when it wants you to give this field since it needs it before it can proceed. So we'll say, what meat would you like? And one more required parameter called condiments. And the name is at condiments. Cash sign. Condiments. Again, it could be a list, but we won't make it a list. And we'll say, what would you like? Okay. So now, we'll give it a dummy response just so we could check if it's working or not. And we'll say, sandwich ready. Save that. And now, let's give it a phrase that we didn't list and see if API AI's machine learning can pick it up. Sandwich, please, the phrase from earlier. 
As you can see, it is now asking for the meat. We will say ham. And condiments, we will say ketchup. So now we're getting the sandwich ready message, which is great. To customize the response a little bit, we might add something like meat and condiment sandwich ready, which should give us the meat and the condiment we used. So save that again and say sandwich me up. What meat would I like? I'd like roast beef and condiment mustard. Oh, forgotten us. But you, the roast beef worked and you get the idea. So that is a very simple API AI agent that takes user parameters and puts them into a text response within API AI. In the next video, I will be showing you how to make an API AI agent that uses web fulfillment and a Node.js script to do something similar, except instead of getting a text response, there will be an actions on Google response. Thanks for watching.